Hi, I'm Peter Jarek, VP of Consumer and Infrastructure Services with Current Analysis. So if you look at how the business models have to change for MBNOs, you have to start with, let's say, how it changes for their partners. Right? So if we look at the partners, we look at the, the mainline big four carriers in the US, and really, really all the carriers, you're seeing a couple big trends, right? You're seeing the focus on device financing, getting those subsidies off the books, pushing folks in that direction, and we see the whole industry moving in that direction. You're also seeing at the same time the focus on network quality, right? That's not going away, right? This idea about innovative services, really, in the U.S. at least, you're not seeing that big focus. You're seeing marketing, you're seeing messaging around network quality, around devices, and at the same time, around new ways to get services, if not cheaper, at least pushing prepaid in a direction which makes it more affordable for folks, right? So all those things that MVNOs have possibly thought about in the past, things like prepaid, things like targeting lower cost services, are kind of going away, and at the same time, the network quality is, if not becoming on par, at least most of the mainline carriers are improving the network quality and focused on it, so it hasn't been, or at least it won't be going forward, as big of a difference. Which means that MVNOs have to think about where can they differentiate, right? On the prepaid, probably not so much. You're seeing that from the mainline carriers. So what are the new areas for differentiation? What are the new areas for innovation? And, and it's great then because it's not like the larger carriers are seeding that, but you aren't seeing this innovative thinking in terms of pricing, innovative thinking in terms of bundling content, innovative thinking in the same way that maybe you are internationally, which opens up opportunities for MBNOs that uh, I don't know if they'll be there forever, but it's at least a window right now. And it may be the only option given where the mainline operators are going in terms of devices, network quality, and pricing.